Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Mel from Melamory Nursery. And oh my goodness, I cannot believe it is Sunday. Time is flying. I am absolutely amazed how fast time is flying. So I had a few babies to choose from today. And I brought sweet Rudy on because I can only go so long without bringing Rudy on. Rudy truly is my comfort reborn or my comfort doll, however you want to look at it. He, I think there's so many reasons why he is. And one of them is, as I've explained in several videos before, uh, first of all, he is the Ruby Sculpt by Casey Brace. I'd purchased him secondhand from a lady by the name of Sue in the UK. And uh, Rudy has been well loved and does need some like new varnish. Um, and I think because I knew that and I knew how much love she had poured into him, uh, she had sold off her entire collection and Rudy or the Ruby Sculpt, I'm not sure what she had named her, um, but she had sent like outfits that were both boy and girl, but mostly girl, like uh, Rudy came as like a girl, but she sent such a massive amount of clothing with him and he still hasn't worn some of the outfits yet that came with him. Uh, I dressed him into this outfit off camera. I was going to film him for Theme Thursday in stripes, as you can see. Uh, he got dressed up in the stripes, and that was one of those videos that when I was like rewatching it to see that if I could post it, I wasn't really finishing my sentences. And this happens quite a bit, folks. It happens quite a bit because... I am up all night and I don't edit. And even if I was to edit, I can't edit in answers to the questions of sentences that I start, but I don't finish. So needless to say, he is in this um, mustard yellow with blue, royal blue and white striped uh, it's a onesie. He's got a blue vest with a white little teddy bear on it right there. So cute. He's got his little pug with him, which I've simply called Pug. He's got a prop, which is a bottle with cotton in it. I'll remove that. He doesn't take a pacifier because this particular sculpt, um, like the Alexis sculpt from Cassie Brace, has a bit of an open mouth. So I could cut pacifiers to fit him, but... I actually prefer his face to be as it is. I really love it. I love the nose on this sculpt. And he's just, he's 7.76 .7 pounds. He is just a beautiful sculpt to hold in my arms. And I'm going to remove his pug. I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on him. Uh, I'm not sure where I got this, uh, to be honest with you, at all. It says three to six months. It's baby gear. And it says, cool like dad, cool like dad. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to dedicate this video to all the reborn daddies out there or all of the gentlemen, husbands that support the women who have this hobby. Uh, I have no such person in my life and uh, there is certainly no quote unquote dad for Rudy. Um, so when I was looking at this outfit, I had, I've had it for a long, long time, but I, I didn't, I didn't really want to put it on him because it says cool like dad. And I'm thinking, well, I don't have anybody like that. Now these shoes are also very big. They're three to six months, but they look like they'll fit. And I, it's a, there's a sticker and everything on it. And like I said, it might be a bit big on him and I might put the vest back on him, but, um, I'll just like take off the the plastic tags for the moment and um, I had a topic yesterday and my topic today is literally um, 
speak as I go, a change in chat and speak as I go and change this little fella. Um, the theme today is Tamara's theme over at Once Upon a Nursery. I will leave her link in my description box below. It is So Blue Dolly Sunday, and I haven't done CNL Reborn's um, hashtag Sunday Best in a while, but I mean, I don't have a whole lot of like super dressy kind of clothes. Um, like I have dresses and stuff for the girls, but um, I do try, if I can, to alternate like the boys. Holy, there's so much plastic on these clothing. I do try to alternate as much as possible uh, my boy sculpts and my girl sculpts just to give variety on my channel. But like I said, there's a period of time um, or a period where I like to bring on Rudy. I like to bring on She Easton as well quite often um, because she's easier to dress and I have a lot of outfits for her as well. So that makes it easier for me to do as well. Um, yeah, I, I had a little tiny one that I was going to bring on. I was going to bring on Maddie, who is the Matilda sculpt by uh, Melanie Gerhardt or Gebhardt. I always forget. I have to check that, whether it's Gebhardt or Gerhardt. So this little guy, I have no idea who reborn him. Sadly, I don't know. I... I didn't get that information from Sue um, when, when I had purchased him. Like I said, a lot of these dolls that I'd purchased in the beginning of my uh, Reborn collecting, I didn't really know which questions to ask. But I've never reweighted him. I've really loved him as, he, as, he's, as he's been. And... Um, you know, he, he's just, he, he's, he's fantastic to cuddle with. He really is fantastic to cuddle with. And these, uh, the outfit that he's wearing, of course, look at this, this beautiful, uh, vest, really padded vest with the, you know, the shirt, the shirt skin, I think it's called shirt skin, Sherpa liner. And it's like got little flecks of like gray and black inside of there. And I believe even it's reversible. I believe it's a reversible um, vest as well. Yeah, it is. So it can be worn this way as well. So, um, but I love the dark blue. And blue looks really, really good on Rudy. So, um, and these pants here, they're not blue. Uh, they are like a really dark olive green but I did the best I could and he's got these stripes even in his shoes so like I said it was a carryover from theme Thursday because I'd actually filmed Rudy but posted a different video completely on Thursday because that video I I wasn't finishing my sentences and sometimes um I get that way in my videos and I I realize that and it's you know unfortunate because I'll film like a half an hour's worth of a video and then I go to ensure that it's okay. I've learned to go back and ensure that it's okay. And <laughs> nope, I, I am completely off the mark. I get sidetracked and do not finish my sentences. So the topic I had for that day, I don't even recall now because I deleted the video. Um, but these were three months pants here. And even his socks were stripes. Like I had like striped out everything that he was wearing, every single thing. But I'm gonna continue using these socks with his his outfit today because there's no sense. And like part of me wanted to keep this yellow mustard shirt on him as well. But I thought I would go ahead and take it off because as much as he looks cute in yellow, and he does, doesn't he? He absolutely does. He's just, he's such a sweet boy, this, this sculpt, this little one. Um, and I love his size because he's zero to three months. He's 22 inches. I just love him. 
He's just so cozy and lovable. And it's funny when I sit here and spend time like this with the Reborns one-on-one, -on -one, it is almost as if I feel more and more for them, especially certain ones. And like, I love to just move their legs around. I love to, you know, see their poses. It brings in me like all of these moments, movements of all of the children that I've watched in my life. All of, all of their little expressions, you know, their waiting, their movements, you know, uh, I enjoy watching this part of it, you know? So even though I don't take my reborns or my dolls out of my house, I do really enjoy when I'm laying them down like this on the bobby or the nest bed and like seeing what their sculpt does in movements. And so I, I thought to bring Rudy on not only because of the fact that I had I had a choice today and I, I love this little guy very, very much. And I, I don't like to go too long without having him come on. But also because Dee at the baby patch brought her little Sam, Sammy on. And Sammy reminds me a lot of Rudy. And, uh, and so this is a huge shout out to my dear friend Dee from the baby patch. And I will... I will put her link in the description box below because she, you know, she's just such a wonderful hearted, lovely lady. I can't say enough about her. Um, and I've been trying to post videos up in my community post. I think I want a day where I didn't do that, folks. And like I said, I will get to each and every one of you um, as best as I can. And it's not... Uh, not it for any other reason than videos that I happen to watch. Okay, so um, there's so many videos now, like I've written down that like, I wanna post one uh, today that's a haul video. Um, because, you know, it, it's good to have variety and I haven't posted a haul video. So that haul video, of course, is a few days old and I don't even think I commented on that particular haul video. So the individual doesn't even know as yet that um, they were chosen for that community wall. And um, I, I wanted to post it because uh, I learned her birthday is coming up. She doesn't, she said she doesn't celebrate birthdays anymore. Um, but I wanna say this right now, Tammy from My Reborn Nursery, if you're watching, sweetheart, you're going to be up on my community wall today with your recent haul uh, that you won from a waffle in, on Facebook. And because I thought that video was phenomenal and I don't, like I liked it, but I, I didn't comment on it. I don't believe I did. And so I just thought what you got for the money you got, I mean, for $6, you should see what she got in that waffle. It was awesome. Uh, I don't actually use Facebook folks, so I don't, uh, I don't go there. I wanted to point out with Rudy how he doesn't have any stuffing in his arm. And by not having that stuffing in his arms, gives him much more movement. And that's how he came to me. And I really, really love that. You know, I really love that. And yet he's got a really like solid, you know, well-weighted body and like, like his limbs, everything is perfectly done. Like for me, I really just love how he was done. So, oh yeah, I've got another tag. There's so many plastic bits on an outfit. It is amazing. Amazing. So I hope everybody has like been enjoying half of their weekend so far. Um, 
I I know uh, for me, I feel like I've wasted half of my weekend because I took a night off from my work and my personal writing last night. I watched actually a couple of movies. Um, uh, I'll share those movies with you, or at least the ones I remember. Well, I think it, it was, uh, if I can remember the name of it, um, the last... The Last Living Boy in New York, which was on Amazon Prime TV, and the other one was Gucci. I think it was called Gucci. Gucci, Gucci Nation. Uh, I didn't watch them all in the same go, of course, but uh, they were short films. And um, also, um, I was telling some friends that I was really excited to see that one of my favorite book series, which is the Lee Child Reacher series, is on Amazon Prime as well, season one. And it has eight episodes. And for somebody who doesn't watch any like television or anything like that, um, I really loved that. I watched all eight ser like series. They were like 47 minutes each, of course. And I binge watched them thinking that um, the series continued on to the other books. It was based on The Killing Floor, his uh, Lee Child's very first book. And only to discover, and I should have looked first, only to discover that, um, unfortunately, I'm just looking to see if I have like plain blue socks here. So I don't really like these multicolored socks, but I shouldn't really make a big fuss out of it. Should I? Should I? Should I? Do you guys ever get like strange about this like it doesn't m matter that you know socks have stripes in it when you want solid color socks or a different color sock like i had a solid pair as well and i i get on these tangents where i i think you know that's what i want to do I put them somewhere and of course they get buried under all these other things like I said I had a couple of outfits laid out here so I guess I'll just stick with the socks I have even though I I have like white can you hear all this stuff on the table like if I was to show you guys you would you know it would probably make you feel better if you have like clutter issues like I do. <laughs> I feel like I have clutter issues now. I never had really clutter issues before. I have these socks as well, but they're not going to go. Um, but I thought I had darker socks from his last outfit, but I must have put them away already. So poor Rudy, you're back in mustard yellow, white, and navy blue socks, but they'll be hidden by your pants and your shoes, so it doesn't really matter. Um... And the other thing I'm checking too is that his shoes. So one is newborn size and one is the pair of shoes from this outfit. So, um, yeah, you never really can tell with sizes. So yeah, those were the movies that I was watching. If you guys are interested in the kind of stuff that I watch, you know, uh, and sometimes, like, you know, I was I was telling a few people, you know, it, it's just something to take you away from something, you know, to, to, I don't know, to lose yourself in. And I think this is the whole thing. Like, my daughters like to binge watch, like, television shows, and they'll watch season after season. And until uh, I got to the Reacher series, um, finding that, because the character in it was so much like the Reacher in the book. I mean, it was very close. And his other, like, character in there as well was really, really close. Neely um, was really close to the one in the character um, description in Lee Child's book. Because of that, um, I was, like, so happy. Because nothing is more frustrating for me than watching a show and having it not reflect how it was written. And... Um, the changes that they insert in the movies, 
Now, not to say it was like verbatim. Oh, you know what? I know why his shoes don't want to go on because there's things in the toes. Look at that. I've done it again. Brand new shoes. There's always padding in the toes. Somebody else was doing this. I wonder if it was you, Chris. Oh my goodness. Come out of there. Okay. Paddling with shoes. Okay. So my cool dude, my cool little boy. Oh, now they're going to be loose. Now they're going to be loose, but these are like, this outfit is three to six months, so it's going to be big on him, but I'm wondering how loose these shoes are going to be now. I should have left some of that paper in there. Cut it in half, maybe. Let's try. So what I've done is just left some of the paper. You see, I've left some in there and see if it fits better. And it does. So I'm going to use the other half for his other shoe. So it doesn't fall off. Because I really think the shoes are cute with this outfit. So yeah. Uh, I was really kind of impressed with myself. Because I tend to like stay up all the time. It's like when you're up working all night. When you take a night off. It's like not taking a night off. If that makes sense. Because you take a night off. And the rest of the world of course sleeps. But I don't. Uh, I don't sleep at that time. Uh, generally before I used to sleep between 4 and 7 p.m. And then, you know, that kind of got whacked out. So, you know, a lot of people have messaged me, when do you sleep, Mel? <laughs> like, uh, I generally sleep when I'm tired. That's, that's basically it. I sleep when I'm tired and when I can. Um, I've always kind of been really odd with my sleeping habits. And I've been like this my whole entire life. So, but it was nice to watch some movies. And that Last Living Boy in New York was a really, really good movie. And of course, the original song that the, the title of that movie was from was Simon and Garfunkel. And I absolutely love Simon and Garfunkel. Comment below what, you know, one of your favorite bands is that is really nostalgic. I love listening to Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, one of my favorite, I mean, the favorite song from Simon and Garfunkel is The Boxer. Um, I absolutely love that song because it is so, for me, uh, it's so true. Like you, you, you grow up believing a certain thing or you're, you know, you're, you think you know a certain thing and then, you know, you go full circle in your life to learn something else completely. So what I've done here is I've just put um, Noodle and Boo on a pink brush, different pink brush. Uh, don't ask me why, <laughs> but I'm just combing his hair down. Now I do comb Rudy's hair flat and like pull it away from his face to give him that clean cut kind of look. I really like that, but his hair does feather back really beautifully. And I really love that look on him. And I could definitely raise up like his bangs here if I wanted to give him some spikies like Sammy has over at D from the Baby Patches channel. He can have his little mohawk too. Let's show everybody, baby boy. He could have a little mohawk too. Um, but I do like it like flattened down. I don't know why. I just think it looks so sweet on him. And... Um, so that's it, folks. That is so blue, Dolly Sunday. Where is your pug, baby boy? There's your puggy boy. And we're going to angle you and get you up. And I'm going to direct you to over to Tamara's channel at Once Upon a Nursery. Thank you for this hashtag, sweetheart, of so blue, Dolly Sunday. I'm going to direct you to my Reborn Nursery because her video will be up on my community page. Please, uh, if you don't know how to find a community page, this has been asked of me. Uh, you simply click on the, um, like my picture, and then you'll see at the top there's like videos. There's two other like titles, like, um, like there's homepage, videos, something else, and then community page. You just click on the community page and you can see everything. And um, let's see how far we want to zip this down. 
and um, that's how you find it. So you can find anybody's like that. And uh, who else was I putting in my description box today? Um, oh, it's also hashtag Shell's um, Outfit Daily 28. This is day 12 with Rudy. Uh, so I will also put Shell's uh, channel in my description box below. Thank you so much, uh, Tammy, Tam, and Shell. And also my my dear friend D from the baby patch because her Sammy reminds me of Rudy and her video today was of her Sammy even though it was pre-recorded because she's on a trip and you can't see his shoes when I do that when I cross his feet that way so let me just see if you can it's almost like his color is so blocked out because there's so much blue Pam, do you see how much blue there's going on here? Like, there's so much blue. It's almost like I feel like I should be adding another color. Because it's just so dark. You know, I almost wonder if I should just open up his vest. You know? I don't know. It's just so much blue, right? But I love this little teddy bear down here. Anyway, folks, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful Sunday. I hope that you are all safe and that this day brings you great joy and I will see you next time. Remember, we're perfectly imperfect. Your love wanted and needed and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.